So welcome again uh, in my course uh, Power Electronics Application in Power System. In last uh, three lectures, I, I discuss uh, a particular type of static bar compensator which is named as thyristor control reactor. But in general as I said before that uh, it is not only a type of a static bar compensator rather we have a number of different other uh, types ok. In uh, today's lecture I, I will discuss uh, firstly a categorization of uh, different types of static bar compensator. Then I will discuss the differences among these uh, different types of static bar compensator and also I will discuss an, a particular type of static bar uh, compensator which is uh, uh, similar to TCR or thyristor control reactor, but it is a, uh, there is a difference uh, with the, uh, with the tri, uh, TCR and this type of static bar compensator. So, let us proceed. Let us categorize the static bar compensator ok. So, here bar stands for reactive power. So, if we categorize it there will be two different types. One is inductive type of static bar compensator, another is capacitive type of static bar compensator. In inductive uh, type of static bar compensator, in inductive type of cap, uh, static bar compensator, the goal is to absorb the reactive power. So, here the goal is to absorb reactive power. Okay. In capacitive type of uh, static bar compensator, the goal is to deliver or to produce the reactive power, deliver reactive power. Okay. Now, there are different categories of inductive type of static bar compensator, which may include fixed reactor type, which may in also include thyristor switched reactor and thyristor control reactor. thyristor control reactor. So, in last couple of classes I, I discuss this uh, thyristor control reactor in very detail. Now, the acronym of thyristor switch reactor is TSR and thyristor control reactor is TCR. There is a difference between T, TSR and TCR which I am going to discuss today. Similarly, in capacitive type of SVC, so, the acronym that which we use uh, to represent this static bar compensator is SVC. So, capacitive type of SVC also can be of three different types. One is of fixed capacitor. We can call it uh, as a acronym FC. Another is thyristor switched capacitor it is known as a, as its acronym as tcr another is mechanically switched capacitor ok. 
it is known as its acronym MSC, M for mechanical, S for switched and C for capacitor. Now, in my previous lecture, I discussed thyristor control reactor. So, one should have a fair idea what is thyristor control reactor TCR. Okay. Now, fixed reactor stands for fixed reactor and fixed capacitor stands for there is no switch involved in it and they are always uh, connected to the system. Okay. So, uh, when we have this uh, fixed uh, reactor or fixed capacitor, it implies to that there is no need of turning on or turning off operation as if this capacitor and reactor will be always turned on with the system. Okay. And there are some uh, disadvantage of this specific type of uh, uh, this, this uh, SVC. One is of course, as you know that uh, in a typical power system, the load uh, which specifically demands the reactive power that is why we need reactive power uh, sources or that is why we need reactive power compensation uh, that that load uh, dynamically varies throughout the day. Okay. So, that is something one need to understand uh, with the example of the devices a person uses uh, throughout the day. For example, as a person if uh, someone is having a room, then uh, one can identify that sometimes the, that room is using all its electrical appliances. Okay. Sometimes all electrical appliances are turned off. Sometimes uh, some of the there are some uh, 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 particular type of electrical appliance there uh, which is always turned on and never turned off. For example, electric refrigerator. right? Similarly, electric load is some entity which is always varying and uh, it is always dynamic and time varying in nature. So, therefore, when uh, there is a very high load demand, we call during that time uh, system is operating at peak demand or close to peak demand. During that uh, time, we need capacitive type of compensation so that we can deliver some amount of reactive power to the network. Okay. So, this will be useful in order to uh, mitigate the under voltage during that uh, time when we have uh, very high load demand. Okay. So, this is I uh, discuss in my previous lectures. Okay. Similarly, when uh, uh, there is a, a very light loading condition for example, during midnight when most of our appliances are turned off during that time there is a situation of over voltage and that over voltage need to be mitigated and we need a reactor who can absorb some amount of reactive power and thereby it will help to mitigate this over voltage. Okay. So, over voltage and under voltage occur in a particular time of the day, but it will uh, not sustain for a long time and it is not a sustainable type of event. So, therefore, when you have a fixed reactor or fixed capacitor, then uh, they may have negative effect. For example, when we have a under voltage in a network and if you have a fixed reactor, then uh, the presence of fixed uh, reactor further uh, deteriorate the voltage level. Similarly, when we have over voltage primarily occurs when we have a surplus amount of reactive power to the system. During that time, if we have a fixed capacitor connected this will also increase the amount of over voltage. So, they will have some negative effect. So, that is why there uh, although their usage is very simple, we do not have any uh, sort of uh, sophisticated power electronic converters and so, but uh, their uh, uh, operation is uh, operation creates some sort of negative effect. Okay. So, that is why they are not used or popular in, in power system operator uh, to the power system operator. Okay. But they can be used along with some switchable devices. Okay. Now, look at this, this type thyristor switched reactor and thyristor switched capacitor. Now, one may have a question that what is the difference between switched reactor and controlled reactor. 
So, what is the difference difference between T S R and T C R? This is a obvious question. And similarly, what is the difference of thyristor switched capacitor? And if there exists, although thyristor control capacitor does not exist due to some reason, I will discuss in my future lecture. But uh, if it exists, for example, hypothetically, if we assume that it exists, then what is the difference between the switched uh, capacitor and control capacitor? Okay. Now, this is something one need to understand. So, the answer is very simple. So, if we if we consider that T S R and T C R side by side. So, both are identical in construction, both are identical in construction. So, T S R and T C R are usually identical in construction. However, there is a difference between the usage of the uh, switch or thyristor, uh, uh, thyristors which are present in both the uh, compensator, both type of compensator. In TSR, the switches are, switches are operated such that they are fully on, fully turn on or fully turn off. Okay. So, there is no partially turn on mode of operation. Whereas, uh, this thyristor control reactor also have uh, switches, semiconductor switches or thyristors. They are operated either as fully on mode or fully off mode or partially on mode. Okay. So, this is what the difference between this TSR and TCR in spite of, of having identical in construction, this TCR can be at in TCR this switches can be partially turned on, whereas TSR there is no partially turned on. So, that is what the difference, that is something one need, needs to understand. Okay. So, therefore, uh, in, in, in case of uh, TSR, uh, which is called as thyristor switch reactor, here is our, uh, this thyristor switches will be operated as a uh, simple mechanical switch, uh, uh, where we can either turn it on or you can turn it off, but we will never partially turn it on. So, therefore, this uh, the in this TSR we do not have any harmonics. So, that is why here there is no harmonics. Whereas, this TCR always has high harmonics and this high content of harmonic is one of the major limitation of the operation of TCR, which I already discussed in the last two lectures. Okay. And there should be some mitigation approaches as well for this type of uh, harmonic, specifically this higher order harmonics like uh, third harmonics, fifth harmonic, seventh harmonic and so on. Okay. So, so, the difference between this TSR and TCR is that there is no harmonic generation uh, in case of TSR, because switches are operated only uh, in two modes, one is fully turn on mode, another is fully turn off mode. Whereas, this TCR can be operated as uh, either fully turn on or fully turn off or partially turn on mode. Okay. And therefore, due to the uh, this partially turn on condition, there exist harmonics in the TCR, which I discussed already. Okay. So, in general, when we have a uh, uh, this switched reactor or controlled reactor type of static bar compensator, both TSR and TCR are used simultaneously. In fact, if we have 
n number of units uh, for static bar compensator, then n minus 1 number of units are used as a TSR or thyristor switched reactor and only one unit is kept as a control reactor. This is purposefully done to reduce the harmonic. Okay. So, both TSR and TCR are used at a time in a particular location where we need uh, this reactive uh, reactor or inductive type of compensation. Okay. So, that is something one needs to understand. Now, similarly, this thyristor switched capacitor also operate uh, here uh, the switches are also operated either fully turn on mode or fully turn off mode. Here also we do not have any partially turn on mode of operation because of some reason which I will I am going to discuss when I will discuss uh, this thyristor switched capacitor. So, I am sorry that uh, this is not TCR, this is thyristor switched capacitor. So, this is basically TSC, the acronym is TSC instead of uh, TCR. Okay. So, in case of thyristor switched capacitor, the switches are operated either on fully turn on mode or fully turn off mode, there is no partially turn on mode of operation. So, why it is so, I will discuss whenever I will discuss TSC. Okay. Now, there are combination of combination of of inductive and capacitive type of SVCs, okay, which include FC TCR, which stands for fixed capacitor thyristor control reactor. It stands for fixed capacitor thyristor controlled reactor. So, when you have uh, this, this control term, then you can understand that there is a kind of firing angle control or the reactance or the susceptance value of that particular device is controlled. That is why it is control reactor. Okay. There also exist uh, this MSC TCR. Okay. So, MSC TCR means mechanically switched capacitor uh, TCR. So, this is means mechanically switched capacitor TCR. Okay. I am going to uh, discuss what is the difference between this FCTCR and MSCTCR uh, in, in next lecture. Okay. Then there also exist TSC TCR, which stands for uh, this thyristor switched capacitor thyristor controlled reactor. So, which stands for thyristor switched capacitor TCR. Okay. So, these are the different types of uh, these are the different types of SVCs uh, exist and I am going to discuss each of them one by one. Okay. So, in this uh, particular lecture, I will I will uh, discuss this FC TCR type of uh, this static bar compensator. Okay. And uh, we also uh, will try to understand the difference of FC TCR with only TCR, which already we have studied in the last lecture. Okay. So, let us move forward. So, FC TCR. So, it stands for fixed capacitor thyristor control reactor. Okay. Now, let us draw the single line diagram.
for FCTCR. It is something like that. We have a bus at which we will place this FCTCR. Let us consider this is the bus. Then we have a step down transformer. We have a step down transformer which is represented by this symbol. Then we have a number of capacitors which constitute a capacitor bank and they are fixed like this. Okay. So, this is the symbol of capacitor as you know. Then we have LC filter. Then we have this TCR unit and you know the TCR unit consists of a bidirectional switch like this. It could be thyristor, it could be any other switch, a semiconductor switch and we have a reactor like this. Okay. So, here this is basically fixed capacitor. This is as you know step down transformer. Now, what is the role of the step down transformer? Already I discussed in the last lecture. The step down transformer is used in static bar compensator to step down the voltage level from very high voltage, uh, for example, uh, transmission level voltage in India it is 220 kilo volt or 400 kilo volt to relatively lower voltage level. It could be 11 kb even lower. Okay. So, the purpose of this step down transformer is that while uh, stepping down the voltage level, uh, it, it uh, facilitates the reduced rating of the, uh, the semiconductor switches which are used in TCR. Okay. Because uh, you know that uh, this uh, TCR cost or price will depend upon what are the ratings of the semiconductor switches, what are the ratings of the reactor we are going to use. And of course, uh, by stepping down the voltage level to reduced voltage level, uh, we could reduce the cost significantly. Okay. So, this is the LC filter. You know the what is the role of the filter because TCR here is a type of device which uh, generates uh, the harmonics and this LC filter are tuned in such a way that it could suppress. Uh, some of the dominant or higher order harmonics. Okay. Then this is a TCR unit which is already discussed in the last three lecture. So, FC TCR essentially consists of a step down transformer to reduce voltage level to a reduced voltage level. Then we have a fixed capacitor, we have a LC filter, we have a TCR. They are connected in parallel or in shunt. Okay. So, that is what a very basic schematic diagram or single line diagram of a fixed capacitor TCR. Now, what is to be done? Uh, we, we need to model uh, this, this type of uh, FC TCR appropriately and then our goal would be to draw the operating characteristic or control characteristics of this FC TCR. So, that we could understand the difference between the uh, basic operation of uh, only TCR and FC TCR. Now, here some important notes are here fixed capacitor, capacitor acts as a source, source of reactive power. Okay. Then second uh, point that I you one should understand that the rating of TCR is usually kept higher 
than than that of fixed capacitor and another advantage of having fixed capacitor is that the fixed capacitor are designed in such a way that they can also uh, be used to suppress some of the dominant higher order harmonics. So, here fixed capacitor is designed such that it could suppress some dominant harmonics. Now, let us model this uh, uh, this F C T C R. So, in order to model this F, F C T C R, what is to be done? So, this is suppose the bus at which uh, it is placed. We will model this step down transformer as a fixed susceptance, as a fixed susceptance which is represented by this rectangular box and let us consider that uh, value of the fixed susceptance as V sigma then we will be having this uh, susceptance of the capacitor fixed capacitor which is represented by B C and this uh, we also will have the susceptance of this T C R, but we know that T C R susceptance is variable and let us represent by B T C R. Okay. So, where so this is equivalent circuit model for F C T C R, where B sigma stands for susceptance of the step down transformer. B C is uh, the susceptance of the fixed capacitor and B T C R is susceptance of the T C R unit. And as you know, this TCR unit uh, usually operated in three modes. One is fully turn on mode, another is fully turn off mode, another is uh, partially turn on mode. So, so in TCR, we have three mode of operation. One is fully turn on. one is fully turn off another is partially turn on ok all right now this is known to us now when uh, this tcr is fully turn on then this b tcr is the is equal to the susceptance of the reactor which uh, is used uh, in, in uh, this particular TCR. So, when TCR fully turn on this B TCR is equal to B L which is susceptance of the reactor. So, this is uh, I discuss in the last lecture. Okay. So, therefore, when uh, the T C R is fully turned on in this condition, 
the overall susceptance of S, uh, this SBC will be equal to uh, this uh, uh, if, if you look at this uh, equivalent circuit diagram then when uh, it is fully turned on then uh, BTCR will be equal to BL and this BL and BC are in parallel and it is connected with series uh, by this B sigma, but these are susceptance. So, therefore, when they are in parallel, so overall uh, susceptance will be uh, additive. So, therefore, this overall this uh, SBC susceptance will be equal to uh, this B sigma multiplied by B L plus B C divided by B sigma plus B L plus B C. This happens when uh, their T C R is fully turn on condition. Okay. Now, when T C R is fully off condition, fully turn off condition, during that time what would be B T C R? B T C R would be 0. So, therefore, B S B C will be equal to B sigma multiplied by B C divided by B sigma plus B C. Okay. So, this happens when uh, T C R is fully turn off. Now, when uh, this this TCR is partially turn on, TCR is partially turn on. Then B S B C will be equal to B sigma multiplied by B TCR plus B C divided by B sigma plus B T C R plus B C. So, these are the three expressions for overall susceptance of the S B C as a unit. Okay. If you consider that F C T C R is a, is a unit uh, type of S B C, then uh, this, this expression for this uh, overall susceptance is something like this something like this okay, under this three mode of operation. Now, one needs to understand there is an important uh, 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 point which is to be noted that that uh, already I discussed that uh, when there is a capacitive type of susceptance. So, it is a positive susceptance because as we know that capacitive reactance is uh, 1 upon j omega c. So, if you take the reciprocal of that, then its its susceptance will be equal to g omega c which is positive. However, when we have a inductive type of susceptance, it is negative. So, therefore, this B c is positive, B sigma since uh, it is a step down transformer is modeled with its leakage reactance. So, it is basically an inductive type of susceptance. So, therefore, it will be negative and the susceptance of this T C R would be also negative. So, important note number 1 inductive susceptance is negative okay capacitive susceptance is positive. So, therefore, B C is basically a, is a positive quantity, 
positive value whereas uh, this b t c r or b l or b sigma they are of negative values why they are so because they are all inductive type of susceptance so they are thus they are negative okay so this is something one need to understand okay now let us let us draw the operating characteristics let us draw the operating characteristics of fc tcr now while drawing so again what we will do we will consider this horizontal axis represent isvc and vertical axis or y axis is representing vsvc so this is also are uh, known as vi characteristics of the svc and here svc is fctcr okay now as we know that uh, this this uh, uh, this uh, tcr characteristics is something like this okay and this is the corresponds to full uh, conduction mode of this this tcr so this when th so suppose this is the characteristics which corresponds to full when tcr is fully on tcr is fully on okay so this is we uh, we consider we discuss in the last lecture this is called maximum absorption limit okay so when tcr is fully turned on this is the characteristics and now uh, during that uh, uh, for that instant of time the bsvc is equal to this bsvc is equal to this okay so therefore this is fully absorption mode and when uh, this tcr is fully off the characteristics will be something like this when tcr is fully off this is called maximum production limit okay so this is maximum production limit okay so this is when uh, tcr is fully off and this is uh, tcr is fully on so therefore this corresponds to alpha is equal to pi by 2 when our firing angle is equal to pi by 2 according to this mathurs varma convention uh, that book convention used and this corresponds to alpha is equal to pi and for any other value of alpha in between pi by 2 uh, to pi the characteristics will be in between this so basically this this overall characteristics will be in between this okay in between this depending upon the voltage level of the bus at which it is placed suppose this corresponds to uh, uh, this corresponds to one per unit of the system voltage then the control range uh, that means the available amount of this uh, uh, reactive power generation or reactive power absorption is this so this is called control range and this fctcr type of svc can provide uh, any value of this uh, reactive power either it can absorb any amount of reactive power or it uh, can produce any amount of reactive power uh, within this control range okay so within this control range it can produce or absorb any amount of reactive power of course if system voltage is lower than 1 per unit 
the control range will get shrinker. It will uh, be this. Suppose this corresponds to 0.8 per unit of the voltage. And if your system voltage level is further re, uh, declined and reduced to 0.4, then control range will be further reduced and so on. So, therefore, depending upon the system voltage level, the control range of the FCTCR is basically uh, decided by this maximum absorption limit and maximum production limit. Okay. So, some important remark. is that number 1 control range of FCTCR depends on system voltage or on the voltage at which on the voltage of the bus at which it is placed. So, this can be seen over here. Okay. But one thing that uh, I uh, should tell at this moment is that this TCR unit can be operated uh, uh, this, this above uh, its rating to some extent and that is called overload range. So, if this is the if this one is maximum this SVC ISVC max ISVC uh, this inductive max then this TCR is can be operated up to a maximum overload range. So, this is this maximum absorption limit can be extended to this. It means that even if the system voltage level is above 1 per unit, your TCR can be operated up to a certain uh, value of this voltage and this is called overload range of TCR. Okay. But uh, eventually if the system voltage falls, then accordingly this SVC maximum amount of uh, reactive power that the TCR can absorb also gets declined. Okay. So, this is visible from this particular characteristics. Okay. And uh, here you can see basically within this control range any value of this uh, you know reactive power this uh, compensator can provide depending upon this different value of alpha. Uh, for example, if we keep on increasing alpha, then characteristics will be uh, shifted to uh, this right to left. If you, you keep on increasing the value of alpha from this point alpha is equal to pi by 2 till this uh, maximum value of alpha which is alpha is equal to pi, then uh, this overall control characteristics will be shifted from right to left of the operating characteristics. Okay. So, this is something one needs to understand. Okay. So, this gives uh, you the idea that the advantage of this or I should use this advantage of FCTCR over TCR is we have non-zero production range or I, I should say the bar production range so basically the role of this fixed capacitor here is to extend this uh, maximum production limit uh, from this vertical or y axis to the left left side so that it is capable to provide certain amount of VAR whenever it is required to the system. So, here FCTCR can absorb VAR, it can also produce VAR because we have fixed capacitor to produce VAR and we also have uh, reactor to, to absorb the absorb VAR, but the VAR production and the VAR absorption can be controlled with this firing angle control of the TCR. 
this is something one needs to understand okay then what will be the disadvantage when something is having an advantage there is certain disadvantage as well so there are certain disadvantages the major disadvantage is that this fixed capacitor the presence of fixed capacitor the presence of fixed capacitor creates a circulating current which always flows flows within FC TCR. So, it means that since this capacitor, this capacitor are always turned on uh, and remained uh, in the system, then uh, within this capacitor and with the capacitor uh, and this uh, TCR unit, there would be some circulating current which will always flow. Okay? Uh, unless this uh, this capacitor sizes are exactly identical and uh, even if it is so then of course there will be circulating current among this capacitor bank to this lc filter and the tcr which will cause power losses or energy losses so this will cause higher amount of energy losses this causes higher power losses Okay. So, therefore, we need to identify a strategy or option so that uh, this, this uh, uh, could be avoided or the losses could be reduced. Okay. But however, this one obvious advantage is that there is a fixed capacitor over here, the fixed capacitor, the presence of fixed capacitor, fixed capacitor capacitor avoids the switching of capacitors, which is a crucial uh, point because uh, when you turn on and turn off a capacitor, uh, there exist certain amount of transients, okay, which I am going to discuss in my future lecture and that is main bottleneck of switching the capacitor um, if, if for multiple times and that may create uh, serious uh, issues uh, if this is not properly uh, operated or uh, proper attention is not paid on it. Okay? So, this is one of the disadvantage of switching of the capacitor. So, fixed capacitor is a simplest option. So, it avoids the transient caused by capacitor switching. So, uh, capacitor switching can reduce this power loss by reducing the circulating current, but it may cause certain amount of transient uh, which need to be properly uh, taken care of. So, okay. so, these are the things we I am going to discuss in my next lecture, but uh, the in this lecture if I summarize what I have learnt, first of all we have learnt this categorization of the static bar compensator and we as we discussed that there are a combination of this inductive and capacitive type of SBCs. I am going to discuss all of them. Today I discuss FCTCR. In the next uh, classes I will discuss MSCTCR. Also I will discuss thyristor switched capacitor before I discuss this TSCTCR. Okay? So, I hope this, this FCTCR is understandable to you and uh, this advantage and disadvantages are understandable to you and uh, this is uh, up to this for this particular lecture and let me thank you for your attention. So, thank you very much for your attention, we will continue this in the next lecture, thank you. Mm -hmm.